Yo, yo, boys, back with another video. Today, we're going to be doing the second part of the We Rogue gameplay, Iante. And we end up facing a DH Tracer. Anytime you face this comp, you really want to go DH. I think my Warrior breaks my Sap, which kind of sucks, but he also gets the Fear, so it's not that bad. So we're going to sprint in, go Sap, and get a nice, good, fresh old dub Iante. So we run up in there. We're going to Sap the Priest, Kenny. So we get a really good opener here. Uh, he fears. He actually fears his trinket, which is nice. We get darkness here, and then I'm gonna cheap shot off the priest for the extra CC, and we get PS. So we get almost everything in the opener. He does stun me here, and th this guy actually didn't play terrible overall. He done a lot of damage, as you can see, he has a lot of gear. So I think it's a booster that's just doing unhealable dam. So here, as you can see, I'm dying. I evasion. I use my file. I'm still dying through because after everything's gone, I kind of just die. So now we have to click Vanish. I Kenny, I Bond, I Smoke Mom. I don't think Dome should put you in combat. I think that is dumb. I think Dome should not put you in combat. Yes, it should actually do that where, you know, the guy doesn't take as much damage. But physically, it should not put you in combat. I think that's dumb. He should have been able to be... He, I should have been able to sap his trinket and... I mean, it wouldn't have mattered that much because, you know, Dome would have saved them. But at the same time, I still think it's dumb. So my Warrior dies here, but we have Double Trinket... Now the main goal is, I don't have advantage, so I'm in a really kind of bad spot. Instead of coming around, this guy tries to AoE me through the wall, knowing that I get the sap before he can get me out. If he had get, got me out, it wouldn't have been the end of the world, because obviously he doesn't have dome, so it's not like he can save him. He does get a necro shield. I think I just killed a priest, because he doesn't have darkness. So yeah, shadowy dual cloak, and they almost live. If I didn't have trinket, they would have lived, because obviously without four set procs, I do no damage. Thankfully, I got the re stun before he in me, and then I trinket in and killed him. That's what I mean by if you don't get four set procs as a rogue, you don't do damage. That's my full burst rotation, and that guy had, like, no gear. He had, like, 90, 85k HP. So, kind of unfortunate that my burst is, like, based around four set procs. I shouldn't have killed him there. It was really close. Like, if I didn't have trinket, he was alive. Or if he got the stun off, like as soon as I trinketed, if he got the stun right on, he, I wouldn't have killed him. So like if he was if he was like ready for that trinket, then he would have got it. Or if he would have stunned me first and then incapped, he could have done that. But you know, all no, all we gotta do now is basically try to survive. We have no cooldown, so we just need to basically kidney him and then run. So he trinkets, so we're gonna step him. We actually pre evasion his stun here. We're gonna instantly kick his uh, I beam. That's like the only way he can get through my evasion. Or his AOE ability. We step him here. Stepping is a really good way to kite his uh, his evasion. Because there's not much we can do. We actually almost get a restart. I probably could have clicked a little bit sooner. So we get a really good opening here. So we can get him a little bit low. Get him a little bit scared. And then now we're going to blind. So we're going to get as much damage in. And then we're going to blind him. So we blind him. We probably should have blinded as soon as our stun was ending. But since he can't heal it wasn't a big deal. All I have to do is blind. And it's basically over. All we have to do is get a restall, sap, and wait for the DR, and then open. Or we could just wait for our symbols to come up. Either way, he's kind of dead. I, I could open in three seconds, or I could wait for symbols to make sure I get the kill. But it, since he's already at as low as he is, 20%, it wouldn't matter. As you can see, he's just dead. GG to my guy, and see you in the next game. So the next game here, we're facing h Power Rogue. This team should never lose to us. I mean, being in h Power in 2s is probably the most broken healing spec I have ever faced. Just Paladins and 2s in general should not lose to anything. So me and this guy, we double blades. I get the kidney out before he can. I actually pre-bomb him, which gets us Trinket. The reason he Trinketed there is I think... Well, we kind of did it on the same time, so maybe it was good. I actually get a pre-restealth before he can uh, actually get to me. So I pre-restealth before he can kidney Vendetta me. So I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm basically stopping their go on me. And it's really good for us. So now I'm going to blind, and then I'm going to cheap shot. We get bop instantly. Which is really insane. So I kidney him out of this. Now we're going to pre-kite again. He blinds me because he wants to get my trinket. If I trinket, then he Vendetta kills me. Thankfully, he does it on my weir. He's playing Vendetta Sepsis, which is not anywhere as good as Necro is. So Necro, he probably would have one-shotted him instantly. But he still dies anyway because he's undergeared with PvE gear. So he's dead here. We did get almost every cooldown from the Rogue. So the Rogue has nothing, as you can see. And then the Paladin, doesn't. he has one bop, I think. Which kind of sucks. Paladins having double bop really just screws with you. If he had blind, he could have blinded me through this. Thankfully, we kill him right before he can get the bop off. Or else he would have bopped him. As you can see, it says he's used double bop. Because it's 5 minute cooldown. But I think he pretty much, I think he still has it. Or he's only using one. 
But thankfully we do the kill the kill. We're actually gonna skip this. Just like every other age battle, he tries to he tries to 1v1 me. If I was bad, he could beat me. But it's just not gonna happen. It's just not we you know. It's just not gonna happen. If it was a tank, I think a tank could actually have a really good chance. I actually faced two tanks in this Q session, and there was a druid that actually had a YouTube video out. And he posted it. Uh, some some one of my viewers pointed it out in in the, the comments. He was like, "Yo, bro, I watched this druid. You'll see the druid coming up here." And they should never lose to our cop either. But they lose because the druid gets cocky and we get the nice good old oh, Dobiante. So here's the tank here. So the lock is a bit undergeared, but we, when you're playing with the tank, it does it's irrelevant. So he roars and watches guys damage. Watch this. Look at his damage right now. Unhealable damage. So he's already at 50k, he's doing 10k a second, he's one-shotting my warrior right now, and as you can see, this is just solo right now, so he's at 160k, oh my god, this damage, 200k damage, my, my warrior is dead, so that's without me being there, so if we, if we were both stacked there, we would have died, he probably would have been doing 25k a second, so here, he, the warlock used every button for some reason, so I was like, oh, that's nice, I some reason couldn't stab him here, because he can click skin and get double, you know, Double. So I'm going to trinket his roar instantly, and we do kill him. Now here we open him. He's going to trinket my blind, and then we're going to bait him. So anytime you're facing a tank, if you get him out of form, they're going to die. They take double the damage. So we're going to blind him here in a second. So we're going to get combo points. On his survival, we blind, because you're not going to do any damage. He's going to trinket. Now watch. We're going to kite away, act like we're running, and then get instantly step him as soon as he gets out of form to try to go for a restyle. So you'll see here in a second. So I start to act like I'm running away and then I instantly as soon as he goes out of form, we're going to step him. So we step him instantly, Kenny him out of form and as you can see, he takes the whole unhealable damage. Legit gets two shot because he's a tank and if you're playing a tank in PvP, please quit the game because you're bad. So, fortunate. This is the Warlock. Um, This is the one game that me and my teammate actually kill him. Usually I get every cooldown and then I just let my teammate die and then I just shadow do kill. But in this situation, my guy actually helps me kill him here. So, we don't kill him in the opener, because he uses every cooldown, which is not, you know, terrible. But usually, after I get, like, these type of cooldowns, I'll just run away, get a restealth, and then wait for my Echo symbols to come back up, and then Shadowy do 1v1. So, that's what I started to do here, as, as you can see. So, I'm going to use my files, and I'm going to line, and get a restealth. My warrior somehow survives long enough, so I was just waiting for Re. I was waiting for him to die, and he just went and died. So I'm like, oh wait, everything's off DR. Maybe I just go out there and we just kill him real quick. So I just get on my mount and I'm like, all right, whatever. So he's getting him low. So I'm just going to be like, okay, I'm a blind. I'm going to Kenny. Somehow he didn't break my blind, which is insane. Best warrior in game. I restun his trinket or I restun his, uh, my Kenny and he does get taken out. Pretty easy dub out the, off the bottom of the zoo, but it is very unfortunate for him. Another tank here. This was, this was actually my, my, uh, the hunter was actually my friend. And this guy has 135k HP. He ain't, this is the most toxic strat I've ever seen anybody play. Look at this. The hunter clicks Kirin one shot. I instantly disarm him. I blind him on top of a fear. He almost one taps him. As soon as he trinkets, we're going to shadowy duel. As you can see, the FPS is, I don't even know where FPS is. FPS is not available at the moment. So we kill him in the shadowy duel. Because as soon as the hunter trinkets, especially when he doesn't have a pet, that means he doesn't have pet sack. And pet sack counters my crit. So, thankfully he wasn't using it, and we do end up taking him out. I think he might take out my tank. No, we actually just double kill him here. But, like I said, if you're playing a tank, quit the game ASAP, please. Go to HPAL at least. Go play the most broken healer in game instead of playing the most broken tank. Thank you, thank you. And for the last game here, these guys actually played very well. This was actually, like, really lucky. Like I said, if, if I had to get really lucky on my 4 set procs to actually kill anything, or else we just don't do damage. Because that's just how the game works. So I actually get an insane sap. He actually could have gotten combat and not allowed me to get the sap. My guy actually does a leap. He was gonna, I think he was going for the fear, but instead he saw that I got the sap. So he's like, oh, now nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cloak his spear instantly. Actually, no, I actually evasion. Do I end up cloaking? I think I do, right? No. Okay, no, I end up saving cloak, so it's really good. I only traded one. There you probably could have just traded cloak instead of evasion. Because he hasn't really clicked much on me yet. So as you can see, now he's clicking his big burst. And he ends up... I end up stunning him to get his trinket. So anytime people are bursting, they have a really bad habit of just trinketing. And when you're facing this type of... If you're ever facing me, do not trinket. Unless it's my blades. If it's my blades, trinket, and then you will win almost 80% of the time. 
So if you just trinket when I blades you or I use my trinket, you won't die. Like you'll be fine. But if you if you use every cooldown before I use any of my cooldowns, just because you want to get your burst off when a warrior has PVE gear and you're gonna kill him regardless. And a lot of people are like, oh, Rogue's OP. And then they end up using wall at like 90%. They end up using trinket at like 100% because they want to do damage. And that's the main reason people lose to me. And when you're even facing good people, as you can see, this guy has glad XP. And he still does the same thing as any other player would at like 1400. They would just trinket aggro just like rank 1 players do too. They'll trinket anything that they can to just get damage off. Like Mud, he'll trinket disarms. Like if he's playing under like 2100, he'll always trinket disarm just to do big damn. And that's what these guys do as well. They just trinket. Be, be just because they're fully geared, they think they'll survive. And I think I get a 4-set proc. As you can see, I get a 4-set proc. If I get a 4-set proc, you're most likely dead. Because my 4-set proc is like my big source of damage. My other parts are just like rarely I kill anything. Like as you can see, this is, this is with some 4-set procs. When I didn't have it, I was hitting him for like... 9k's, 8k's. When I get a four step proc, I hit him for like 15k's, which is still really bad, but you know, with the amount of utility I have, it's like kind of worth. I mean, it'd be easier to play like an Affliction Warlock or like a Rat or a Marksman Hunter to do these carries with. Because Rogue is just, or or an, actually, I could play Assassination One Shot Rogue and it'd be 10 times easier than what I'm doing now because Necro Assass is actually pretty insane right now. But uh, it doesn't really matter to me because we still get the job done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash the like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments. Yes, I actually did have my friend end up making a mage, Will. So he ended up making a mage. So we're going to have some rogue mage and wrath. We're ending up getting full brutal gear. Once we get full brutal gear, I'll start making some, you know, montages and stuff on YouTube. Or like in BGs of us just like destroying everything. We're also going to keep some arenas too. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace. See you guys tomorrow. I need to drink water because I am dehydrated. I actually end up messaging this guy. So I put it in because, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace, peace, my guys. I'm out. I need a drink. I'm dehydrated. Bye.